The Foo Fighters are back. Yes! <sighs> yeah, you kind of wondered after Taylor's death mm. what was going to happen with the Foo's. I kind of expected it to take longer. I mean, I've just seen so many interviews with Dave, and I've, I've kind of gotten to know him because he's such a spaz. You know, do any interview with anybody. I've heard tons of interviews with Dave, and every interview, he is the most likable human yeah. being on the planet. He's just a fun-sounding dude. He is just, I mean, that guy is going to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice. I mean, I know Rock and Roll Hall of Fame means basically nothing. Nothing now. At this point. Literally. Ronnie James Dio is still not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Regardless, I'm glad to see the Foods are back. Yes, same. Love them. Don't know who their new drummer is. Haven't looked. Didn't think they were putting out music, so I hadn't kept up. So I saw this video, and I'm a couple weeks late on that. So when I saw it, I said, well, we need to go check that out. I hope it's his son, but I doubt it's his son. I have no idea. They did play. He did play with them on their tribute right. thing, so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. We don't know. We'll figure it out or you can get in the comments and let us know. Let us know because knowing me and as busy as I get and as absent minded as I am, I will probably not think to even go look. And three months from now, somebody's going to mention it to me and I'll be oh, I always wondered that. <laughs> right. So get in the comments. Let me know before somebody ruins it for you. <laughs> Let's do this.
got to play the drums sounded just like Taylor. Yeah. That's crazy. Because Taylor beat the hell out of those drums. It just makes me wonder if it's his son now, because when we watched the tribute, he played a lot like his dad. It makes me wonder if it was Dave. I wonder if Dave Possibly, because he beats the crap out of them things, too. Right. That's one reason why Taylor was so appealing. Mm Mm-hmm. It's funny, I just recently heard the interview on Smartless with him, which was phenomenal. I highly suggest if you listen to podcasts, go find Smartless and go look up this Dave Grohl interview. It's an hour and it's worth every moment between Jason Bateman and Will Arnett and Sean Hayes talking to <laughs> He was spazzing. He, he admits he's a spaz. He's and great. We love him. He's a national treasure. Yeah, I mean, if ever there was somebody that was in the that deserved to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it's Dave. And Dave proves my point that I try to make to so many people. So I don't know if the the Bring Me the Horizon fans or any of them are going to be watching this particular video. But in case you watch both, this makes my point. Foo Fighters haven't changed that formula mm-hmm. in over 20 years. That sounded just like the Foo Fighters. And the moment it came on, it sounded like the Foo yep. Fighters. That's my point. That's a that's a good band. Yeah. These bands that switch up, I won't even get on that rant. But <laughs> don't tell me it's progression and growth and what they know. What they always wanted to do is what they started doing when yep. they started doing it. That's what they always wanted to do. And I get the fact that as you get better, you want to add a thing here, add a thing there. But when you totally change your entire like, like meal, just completely take a different off ramp to a different direction. Yeah, you just decide, hey, I'm vegan now. Yeah. <laughs> so suck it. <laughs> yeah. And you can't complain about our new music because we have new fans that will come in and try to tear you apart because you dare mention the fact that we're not the Foo Fighters because the Foos do what they do. They don't have to do anything else. No. Nope. Get in the comments. Let us know your thoughts on the Foos. Glad they're back. Me too. Glad it they're was, back. It was a very sad time, them being gone. Yeah. So that, that's that's amazing, and and they're going to do well no matter where they go. Dave is just so lovable mm-hmm. that people are going to fill the stadiums and it will sell out just because people want to be a part of this guy's life. Yeah, I was at that concert just for that. Yeah, you know, it's Dave Grohl. He may be our modern day Mick Jagger. Yeah, or Robert Plant. You know, he's he's on that tier. Like, share, subscribe. Do the thing. Do the thing. And until the next time, guys, as always, come at me, bro.